Hi everyone, today's video is going to be my monthly makeup bag. And today is the last day of January, so I got ready and then I switched out a couple of items and now we're just going to go ahead and film this. I will say, if you watched my January makeup bag, this one's going to be pretty similar because this includes all of my Project Pan items and then a couple of items that I need to use but I don't have in a pan. So like I don't have a mascara in a pan right now, but I still need some mascara. So things like that. So there are a couple of changes, but you know, I figured it would still be good to watch. So hopefully it is. It's going to be a long one because there are a ton of options because again, I'm Project Panning so much. So let's just go ahead and get into it. And so I'm going to start on the top drawer of my Alex 6. So I do have an Alex 6 like organizer. And the top drawer is all of my stuff that doesn't fit in my cute little like desk thing. So first I have the um, Lorac Tales of Time Beauty and the Beast palette. This is my Pan That palette for the year. And here it is. Um, so we're just playing with that. Uh, today I have on the shade Look Beyond as my transition. So I like that. And then I have one of my favorite palettes the uh, Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass palette and I am trying to hit pan on the shade Hatter in my 17 by uh, 2017 project pan so I'm just going to go ahead and leave my whole project pan playlist down below because then it can uh, you can kind of see my progress and you know if you're interested so obviously in these videos you're going to get some like sneaky peeks then we have my Tardis Pro palette which is again another one of my favorites I've done a review on this oh I did a review of those other two palettes as well I always forget to say that I did a review on this and a full face one palette using this palette it's a gorgeous palette and I'm trying to use up this shade edgy in my entire makeup collection rolling project pan and then we have the Urban K smoked palette which I, I I've actually mentioned this in my palettes I regret buying video but it's a really fun palette at, if you use it like as an accompanying palette and I do, um, I'm trying to use up the shade Freestyle for my, uh, pro my entire makeup collection project pan. And I, I don't think I've done a review of that, but I, like I said, it was in that video. Then we have this guy. This is the Urban Decay Vice 4. And I am trying to use up the shade Flame for my 17 by St. Pat's. That is what I have on my lid. And then I'm also, uh, this shade Deadbeat is my first ever weekly product pan item which I'll link that playlist down below too in case you want to keep up, keep up with it but this is the first one I drew so there's that guy and then we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette this is in my 8 by Easter it's a beautiful palette and this shade totally fetches what I have under my lower lash line and it's also what I'm trying to hit pan on for that pal uh, project this is a beautiful palette it's the only chocolate bar I own and then we have Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca. Such a hyped up palette. So worth the hype. And I am trying to hit pan on this shade Synth. Um, which I'm a little worried is not going to happen. But that's a gorgeous palette. Either way. And then we've got this little guy. Which is something that nobody ever talks about. Oops. It's the Urban. Talks about. It's the Urban Decay Spectrum palette. Urban Spectrum. Not Full Spectrum. And here it is. I use this palette all the time. I'm trying to use up this shade, or hit pan on the shade Voodoo, and my 14 by, well, it's upside down. Oops. And my 14 by Valentine's Day project pan. Uh, but this open shade is amazing. I love all of these shades. This is a great palette. And if you see it, I would grab it, y'all. It's great. And then last but not least, we have my Galaxy Chic palette. And in this one, I'm trying to hit pan on the shade Jupiter. And that is what I have in my crease today. And I'm really close to hitting pan, actually. If you can see, there is a dip. So we'll just see what happens. Then I've got this nail polish, which is for my 17 by St. Pat's. And I brought in this one because I didn't have like a glitter top coat um, in any of my project pans. And I like to have a glitter top to kind of spice things up. And since it is the month of February, I chose this red glitter from LA Colors. It doesn't have a name, but it's really pretty. So we'll be playing with that. I doubt I'll use it up in a month, but, you know, we'll be playing with it. And then we have all of my items in this guy. So this is my cute little desk thing. Uh, my mom got it for me last Christmas, Christmas of 2016, I believe. So um, this is where our everything else fits. Everything that fits in here goes in here. All of those palettes were, like, a little too big or they're just not room. So I'm panning this Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish. So I was thinking this pink with that red would be really cute. And then the Stila, 
smudge stick, uh, which is in my waterline today. It's not as green as it used to be, but it's old. So I'm hoping I can finish that in my 17 by St. Pat's. And this one's also in that project pan. It's my Monaco lip liner. And I do have it on today. I, I like, I, I feel like people are very like pro or against lip liners. Personally, I'm very pro lip liner. Then I have my little, uh, CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast. This is the actual side that I'm project panning and I have it on today. But because it's in this pan, because like this pop, this item is in it, then uh, I have used this a few times as well. And the same thing with like any of my eyeshadow palettes. Like, like I said, like I'm actually panning the shade Totally Fetch, but I've used a lot of the shades just because it's what I can use. So I feel like that's a good way to you know focus in on your certain items, but really get use out of it as well. Like get out use out of that whole palette instead of just worrying about one single shade. I've got two more palettes, the Lorac Pro palette. This was also in that um, palettes I regret buying. And I also made a video um, comparing this one to the Lorac Pro 2 to see which one you should get. I'm painting this shade white, which is so hard to see. But I do have a dip in for um, 14 by Valentine's Day. And I'm also painting this little perfume, this little body spray. I've made a lot of progress on that. I'm thinking I can finish that before Valentine's Day. And oops. Then we have the Too Faced Clover palette. I've done a review of this. I like it, but it doesn't stay on my eyelids very well. But I'm trying to hit paint the shade Lucky Clover. But this is such a fun assortment of colors. And this is honestly a very unique palette. Okie dokie. We're going to go through all of the little, like, lipstick holders. Which is not all lipstick. Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. I'm not a fan, but you can see I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I'm really hoping to finish that up before St. Pat's. This little pixie guy, I can't remember if this is in St. Pat's or Valentine's Day. I kind of think I'm right here, but I don't really know. It's like one of those like pigments with a stopper. It's just kind of a pain to use, and I don't like these. I've actually mentioned these kind of, like this format of a pigment in my makeup items I'll never buy again because I don't like it. I have my cream blush, the Lac & Co. Cheek, which is almost gone, which is exciting. Then this lip gloss, which I do have on today. This is the Kaylin Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss in the shade Love Affair. And it's a nice lip gloss. It's kind of like a jelly formula. So it's kind of hard, excuse me, to apply to where you don't just look like clumpy and gross. Then I have my Lorac Beauty the Beast lipstick. This is the shade True Beauty. I really like it. It's like a peachy nude. <coughs> I have a Sephora lip gloss. And like I said, all of these are being panned unless I mention it otherwise. So this is the Sephora lip gloss in the shade um, 04 Perfect Nude. It's a nice lip gloss. Then this is the lipstick I have under that lip gloss. Because if you don't put a lipstick, then it's just a mess. This is the Pixie um, Brilliance Balm Stain in Pretty Pink. And you can see I've got some use out of it. We'll see. I don't have that much left. And that's in St. Pat's, I know. Then we have this Clinique Chubby Stick Hefty Highlighter. I have two cream highlighters I'm panning right now, which was a terrible decision. But this is a giant one. So I have until April 1st to use that up, but I'm not overly confident. I also realized that you really need to put this on your beauty blender and then like dab it on. Because if you just swipe it, um, at least with the Rimmel Stay Matte, it just like picks up all your foundation, which is not a good look. Next... We have the NARS lip gloss, which is in my uh, 17 by St. Pat. It's a very orangey lip gloss, but it's cute, and I like it. It's just, it's, I think it's just the packaging, but, like, you don't get very much out on the little thing. But I don't want to take the stopper out prematurely, because I know once you take the stopper out, it's a mess. Okie dokie. And then I've got three items that I'm not panning, but I needed one, and I wanted to, I wanted to, like, switch those items out. So, like, last time I was using my Ulta Brow Gel, and so now I'm using this H&M brow gel, which I have done a full review on, and I don't like it, but I gotta use it up. Then for my chapsticky item, I'm using this guy. This is the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil in the scent, I thought it told you the scent, Sweet Rose. I actually got a giant, um, like, makeup kit, like one of those 96-piece makeup kits from Ulta from John's family for Christmas. So this was in there, and I haven't used it yet. And then the Tarte Tartist uh, Mascara. This is the mascara I'm using. This has like weird packaging. But I'm hoping I can maybe finish this up this month, which would be good. And obviously, with anything, if I finish it up, like if I finished up 
this eye this brow gel and I don't have anything else that could take its place then I'll just you know um, kind of roll something else in so then we've got this Ofra banana highlighting powder which is actually what I used to set my whole face today this powder works well with the stay matte foundation it like makes it a better shade for me you can see I'm almost finished I'm really hoping to finish that up this month maybe that would be awesome that, that's kind of the goal another powder if you um, follow me then you know that I'm kind of I'm finishing all the pans that I'm in now and I I'll be starting a pan like soon but I don't want to have like six or seven pans going on at once because it's just so hard to get use out of your items like right now I have that powder and I also have this Revlon powder which I haven't been focusing on because I've really been focused on the Ofra powder but I do have pan on it and I have another powder that you'll see in a minute so it's just too much of the same this is the setting spray I'm using. It's the Aven Eau Thermal, Thermal, Thermal Spring Water. It's not a great setting spray, um, but I'm, I've probably got like two or three more uses out of it, and then it'll be done, which is exciting. This is my bronzer. It's also got a blush in it, but I'm painting a blush that's pretty much the same shade, so I won't be using this blush. If it was a different shade, I probably would use it occasionally, but this bronzer is really what I'm painting. This is a Sorme Bio Natural Bronzer, and I am using it. Oh man, oh man! It didn't break. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I am using it today. It doesn't really have a dent in it, which is kind of disappointing because I was hoping it would because I've used it for like a month straight. Then we have my green concealer. I like a green concealer, especially right now. My face is going haywire and I don't really know why. It just is. But this is the Physicians Formula Concealer in Green. And then um, I'm not using this one, but I probably will start soon. We've got a little mini MAC Strobe Cream, which is the primer I used today. Um, I like this primer under the Stay Matte because it kind of like lightens it up a bit. But you can see I, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. And then we have the Touch and Sew No Problem Primer as well, which I haven't been focusing on just because, like I said, when you have two primers, I know you can like... I was doing the touch and sole like in my T-zone and then the MAC everywhere else, but I've decided I think I don't want to deal with that. I think I would, sorry, I have this like little hair that doesn't want to go the right spot. Um, I think I'd rather just use one primer, so that's what I'm doing. Um, then I've got this little Sephora single eyeshadow. This is for um, 14 by Valentine's Day, so I've got that much. Oh, and if you wanted to know, um, so like I've said, I use these items during the week, with the exception of my weekly product pan, so this guy, this deadbeat shade, I'm using every single day. But everything else I just use during the week, and on the weekends, I can use whatever I want. So for that, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so like this nail polish is not in my project pan, it's the shade Artemis from Sephora Formula X. And it's a holographic polish and it's gorgeous. I wish I had a glitter like that for my eyeballs. I think NYX makes one and I would like that. This is the Coastal Scents Gel Liner, or Liquid Liner. I do have it on today. It's the only liner I've used for like a month. So hopefully it'll be gone soon. This is the Model Co Highlighting Trio in Bronze. So I am trying, mean, uh, just the Highlighting Trio, I'm trying to use up this shade Bronze. I thought it'd be a lot easier to hit paint on, and I still haven't done it, but I'm using it as a cream bronzer. I know it looks super, like, metallic, but I feel like on the face, it's fine. Um, and if I do happen to use up this uh, cream blush, which I think I will, I'll probably start using this one. Just because I try to use items, like, instead of pulling in a different cream blush, I'd rather use one that I'm already kind of panning, just to limit the actual number of individual items that I have, if that makes sense. Then we have the Balm Cosmetics Balm Springs blush that I'm panning. And you can see this is pretty similar to that Sorme blush. Um, but it's a pretty little shade. I like it. And then the concealer I'm panning right now is the Benefit Boing Concealer. And I've got so little left. It's hard to like get out now. But I'm, and I'm hoping I can maybe finish that in the next 14 days. We'll just see. So then we've got three drawers and that'll be it. So for the first drawer, I've got the third powder that I'm panning right now, and it's the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. And I chose it because it's green and white. 
I wanted to hit pan on this. This is 8 grams of powder, which is, no, it's 12 grams of powder, which is a little large. I don't know if I'm going to hit pan. Like, that's, what, that's the thing. When you have so many of the same items, it's hard to get use out of any of them. Next, we've got the Kat Von D Esperanza palette. And the goal is to use up the shade Dog Roses. It's in my full collection rolling project pan. And in that, that pan, everything, the goal is to completely use up every item. You can see I've got a long way to go in that. And similarly, um, we have the Stila Eyes Are the Window Body Palette. This palette's not great. It's got some real, like this diamond shade. No, Moonstone shade is amazing, but a lot of it's not great. But this is the shade Emerald, and um, I'm trying to finish that up. And you, If you might have noticed, there's a navy in my uh, pan that palette, so I'm kind of focusing on that instead of the Stila one. Next, we have my second drawer. So in here, we have the Lorac California Dreaming palette. I keep forgetting about this palette. If we're being completely honest, I do. I'm trying to hit the pan on the, sage, the shade Seaside which I don't really like, so there's that. And then I have the Polish Choice blush, and I'm trying to use up the shade uh, Soft Mauve. And you can see, it's really frustrating because this shade Soft Mauve is what I'm trying to use up, but this the Balm Springs blush is almost the same shade, so I'm focusing more on this Balm Springs blush than this guy. So I should have just been smarter and like brought in a different, either not brought in a blush at all or brought in a different shade this shade's too similar and I have been using this pearl shade a lot as well because um, if I want a cool tone highlight this is the only one I have as an option and you can see that it does have some use on it it doesn't stay on my skin very long which is not great then we have the sleek blush and rose gold I have this on my face today it's I don't know I feel like it's not as shimmery as I, th I once thought it was um, I'm trying to hit pan on that but not very close then we have the Bare Minerals All Over Face um, Color and Flawless Radiance, and I have this on as my highlight. And you can see it's a really nice highlight. It's like pretty natural looking. Um, well, not natural. That's that's dramatic. But it's like it just it's very soft in person. Like it just it doesn't look like a metallic strip. Um, so I do really like it, uh, and I'm trying to use that up. And this is what I'm using if I want a warm tone highlight. Like today's look is very warm. And then I have. This Marsk pigment in Vanilla Frosting. Oh my gosh. This, like, lid doesn't go on right sometimes. And when it doesn't go on right, it's just a huge mess. So, this is just a shimmery white. It's what I have on my inner corner today. Then we have the Well People Bio Brightener. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to do cre two cream highlights, which is stupid. But there is a, a dip in it, as you can hopefully appreciate. And the other pigment I'm trying to finish is in my entire makeup collection project pan, so I'm trying to actually totally finish this. This is the shade Ain't Nothing Like Me from Geek Chic Cosmetics, the Awesome Mix palette. And I have done a review of that pigment set. I've done a review of almost everything here. So instead of trying to link each individual review, I'm going to just link my entire project pan playlist. And I think that'll be the easiest. I not pro Well, I'm going to link that, but my product review playlist instead of... Because then you can like see it but I think that'd be easiest for y'all and for me honestly but also for y'all so I'm trying to use that guy up and then we have two more items in the last drawer and we're done I know this is a long video so thanks for staying with me this is the makeup forever uh Christmas palette and in here I'm trying to use up this shade ME16 ME216 I want to hit pan on it and the last palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Maya Mia palette, and this is the shade Deep Brown. Got a big dip in that. And that's what I have under my brows today. So, that's the goal. That's everything I'm using. Hopefully, by next month, this will be even smaller. Um, like I said, I like to incorporate things that I'm not panning, just because I think that's smart, and you can still focus in on one item. I like using this during the week and on the weekends kind of having a free-for-all because then I'm really getting good use out of these products, but I'm not neglecting the rest of my collection. So it works for me. I hope you enjoy this video. Like I said, there was a lot here, but that's what I'm panning. So that is why I want to do less project pans. Not because I don't love panning, because I really do, but it's just too much and you can't really make progress on it. Not in the time frames I've given myself. So 
that's what I'm doing right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please leave any questions, requests, suggestions, comments down below. Talking to y'all is legitimately one of my favorite things, so I would love to hear from you. And yeah, I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.